Magnifique. I've been told that you specialize in craftsmanship and discretion. Oh, is she getting like weird BDSM shit? <laughs> Either she wants to get a St. Andrew's cross or whatever. Madame Gazelle says as she leans in and unrolls a large piece of parchment in front of him. What do you think it would cost to make something like this? Oh, it's definitely some kind of weird sex thing. It definitely is, guys. You don't recognize furniture like that at all. It's all hard angles, strangely placed padding. It's steel ring. <laughs> yes, she's definitely, she's definitely commissioning some kind of fucked up BDSM shit. Madam, what exactly have you brought into my fine shop? He asks, his voice tight. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is starting to look concerned. Are you not César Boulle? Most certainly not, madame. I'm his brother, François. César was kicked out of this shop last year for his vile and perverse creation. <laughs> I should report you to the archers for bringing this obscenity into my fine shop. Uh, okay, so I could either try to emasculate him with my comment that he can't make it. <laughs> I'm kind of liking that one. Let's do the let's do the credibility option. Let's do the let's do the emasculation option. <laughs> Ugh, fine, madam, I shall create this wicked thing for you, but merely as an exercise of my craft. Of course, of course, of course. I must ask you to forget what you saw. She continues with a breezy laugh. After all. I'd hate to ruin any potential surprise. <laughs> Guys, I feel like this woman is gonna like... I feel like my head is gonna end up in a fucking... Like, vat in this woman's basement. 